It's a bio. No, it's a bio fertilizer. It's an extract. It's a dilution of minerals, enzymes, microorganisms. They basically lactobacillus that enables plants to drink minerals to take what they need directly, immediately, like in, in 30 seconds after you spray. So it's a foliar, we use it as a foliar and also as a drip irrigation it can be used, yeah? It's a dilution. And the way we make dilutions, it's the, the same way a cow makes it. A cow makes it its own dilution and eats these juices to grow it, her body out of minerals. And if you don't want to become bone dust, mate. <laughs> they like the bone dust. <laughs> so to make, this is what basically the materials we need to make biofertilizer. First, we need the bacteria. So for the bacteria, we need fresh cow shed. And I, what I mean fresh, straight out of the cow's ass. Warm, <laughs> steaming hot. Yeah. That I thought, is the best. I thought that's why we brought the baby up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can also do that one. <laughs> And uh, it, it would be better if you can get a hold of rumen, yeah? Rumen, the rumen contents of a cow, when they kill a cow, they have, they can cut the first stomach, open it up, and then take that mass, which pretty much looks like this. And that's also very useful. That is even more useful because then you have more bacteria. Once the bacteria is out in the air, it starts decaying, it starts dying in the sun, the, the air, it starts killing it. So if you're going to make it with rumen, it's really good. And here are some tips when you go and get rumen. Don't do what King just did. He went out the last course and got some rumen, put it in the bucket, and then close the bucket. That's a big mistake. It's alive. It's producing a lot of gas. And by the time you arrive home, you have the whole youth, the back of your youth, or everything <laughs> nicely splashed with <laughs> rumen all over the place. So if you want to get some rumen from the from the nearby, uh, what's it called? Abattoir. Abattoir, thank you. You bring one of those drums, give them to them and put five liters of water and half a liter of molasses in it and mix it well and bring it to the abattoir. So the guy, when he puts the rumen, you want to ask him for two buckets of rumen and that's what we need. The basic materials for biofertilizer are two buckets of rumen or cow manure or calf manure yeah, or calf rumen which is the best that's not so easy to get but if you can that'll be good. you will need uh, minerals <coughs> and we need basically five to seven kilos of minerals and those minerals can be rock dust bone dust ashes phosphoric rock or you can put sulfates as well you can put any minerals you like and we will do a mix. We wa what we want is a variety, diversity of minerals. Everything in permaculture is diversity here as well. There is no difference. So what we want is, I would go for instance here, we have bone dust, we have a little bit of ashes, we have rock dust. We will play with it and we will use a little bit of it. Then we need two liters of molasses. We need one to two hundred grams of dry yeast. And how does that, do we have everything? And whoa, milk, milk. We need two liters of milk, which is in the fridge. We we'll just take it out of it. Do you want it now? Yeah. Thank you. Does it matter yeah. if it's pasteurized? It doesn't matter. No. I mean, it's better if not, but mm -hmm. there is no choice. That is all you have. Yeah, you can use it. No and then, was there, sorry? sorry. How much minerals was there? Minerals you can use five to seven kilos, no more than that. And then you can use water water has to be chlorine free if you use chlorinated water it just kills your bacteria yeah and water will use about 150 liters 140 depends on the drum yeah materials we need we need a plastic drum like this with a big mouse like this with a lid and every time you buy a drum like this make sure it has a seal sometimes they sell them and the seal is not here or the seal is broken and it's a missing part somewhere like uh, George uh, John's place we had I mean at Ben's place we had this drum and this the lid had a, a 
part of this seal broken and we didn't realize so we I wouldn't I couldn't get this thing right and it was leaking and I said where is it leaking from we couldn't figure out until I saw the it was black so we couldn't see it was broken so no, no, just make sure the seal is whole yeah it's not, it's not broken and then you need holes like this one meter of crystal clear you can, we want actually to see through it that's very important and also we will need um, what else do we need? We will need something like this. It's, this is what it's called in irrigation systems a initial coupling. I don't know here how it's called. Initial coupling. It has two different sets. You, this is a gasket. You insert. You put the gasket on the lid, and then you insert it by pushing it hard. So it's a mechanical seal. It doesn't have any silicone, it doesn't need anything else. So it, you can twist it and move it around and it won't lose the seal, yeah? We want this to be uh, airtight, so this is the thing we use. This is only half a dollar or one dollar. Right? It won't cost you more. <coughs> you get it with the irrigation systems. They sell irrigation system stuff. And, uh, and also we will need a Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah. Maybe Coca-Cola bottle? Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola, please. <laughs> the sort of... It has to be a two-liter bottle. It, it, has to, it can be plastic, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. But we just want it to be two liters because this will create pressure and after some time it will be vacuum and it sucks the water in. So if you don't have two liters, well, no, crystal clear. We have, we want to see through. And uh, I can see a lot of water bottles here. One point two five. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, that'll do. Just cut off the before the the Photoshop. Remove the branding. Yeah, get rid of this. You don't want to film this. <laughs> we don't want to have a you know. <laughs> <laughs> them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's the the other brand? Pepsi. No, no, no. There is a Virgin Cola. Virgin Cola. So you want your bottle? This is very important part of the story, and we need some wire. So basically, this is all we need to do biofertilizer. Now, what do we would? Why do we use what we use? As I said, the cow shed it's only because of the bacteria and the mass, the biomass, a little bit, no? So we want the bacteria. We, it, if you go out in the field and you get all these beautiful cow poos, it won't work. If they are one year old, two, two, I mean one day old, two days old, they won't because you don't have the bacteria anymore. We are after the bacteria. So that's the first thing you get. And if you go and get rumen, that's even better. As I said, put some water in here, put some melasas, mix it, and when the guys put the rumen inside, give them your lid already with the hole in it. Because otherwise he'll put the lid, close it, and after five hours or so, bam, it is closed. <laughs> because that bloody bacteria produces a lot of gases. It's alive, no? So give him like this, so it's not sealed gas can come through the hole already, yeah? So you bring it to your side and that, that will last, you can you can save it from one day to the other. So you can come to the habitual, give him the drum and come the, the, the day after to collect your, your rumen and it will be alive. Because you still, the bacteria got some melasas, some sugar, which is energy for them to keep on going. And if you went and collected the bones at the same time, could you sort out the bones and <coughs> still have time to... Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, trips? if you, then I'll bring two drums, one for the bones, one for the, for the rumen, yeah. and that'll do. Yeah, there's no problem. Yeah. Now, we have the bacteria, so we will start doing the, the biofertilizer. We put in the bacteria, always put in the bacteria first. Otherwise, if you put water in there, you, you'll splash your face. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's so pleasant. I mean. <laughs> and when you do it all with them, somewhere else. Yeah. Don't look at it won't make any difference. It'll fall any anyway. So look at somewhere else. 
So in case something splashes, you don't get it on your eyes, especially in your eyes. So put in the bacteria. Cash it. And this is not exactly fresh, 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 but I got some, some of them, like five or seven of them. the big pies were fresh. <laughs> that should be enough to just let it work that much. To get it going, no? Now we need energy for them. And we need a starter. This is like an engine, it wants to start. The best thing to start it, Ken was telling me they use um, Malta, malt. You know malt? When you, when you make your beer, save that malt <coughs> to make this, to start this. You know cars, they need a starter engine. Yeah, to start the engine, you need a starter. Well, yeast is the starter. Uh, in this case, I'm using dry yeast as a starter. It would be best to use brewer's yeast. Yeah? It would be better. But we have this, so we would use this. Always mix. Oh, I'll use 100 grams, 200 grams. I'll use the whole pile. Oh, it has these things. So I'll use some of them. So just use a couple of them. 100 grams will do. Should be all right. And what I do is I mix the yeast, the molasses, and the milk together. So all the lovely things, all the love for the bacteria. So what we want is a bucket, which we have here. Here we put, where is the milk? <coughs> if you're using the malt, that's got enough yeast in it, the malt itself? Or you put yeast as well as the malt? No, we put yeast. No, no, no. If you use malt, you won't need any yeast yeah, at all. That'll do. So, here is your milk. You can use milk, or you can use two liters of milk, or you can use whey. That would be better. Milk contains 5% fat, and that fat, when in a drum, it will decompose anaerobically, and then you <laughs> get this smell, which is not so nice of it. You see what I mean? <laughs> so if you, if you want to make whey out of your milk, just put a little bit of vinegar, apple vinegar, and then it'll curd it. So you get the curd, you eat the cheese, and you use the way for the biofertilizer. And then you can use, I mean, make better use of this. Now we, we're just using milk, yeah? What so yogurt? What about yogurt? Wrong bacteria? Yeah, you can use yogurt, no problem. No, no, it's not the wrong bacteria. It's fine. Any lactobacteria will do. So I'll mix the love. If you don't mix this, this is very difficult to mix in there. So it's better, I, I like it, I like to mix it. And farmers love it because the smell of it is really nice. It's, it's like making bread, pretty much. And then you put some of your energy in it as well. Oh, honey, that's 96 grams in total, so you might want to... 96? Oh, then 300. Yeah, it's 7 gram sachets, generally. These are 7 grams, no? Yeah. Generally. So you got to put them all in. 96 grams, the whole pile. Yes, you might oh. have to use the whole pile. Right? Yeah. Oh, well. I'll leave some for the next one. Otherwise, we, we won't have bread tomorrow. We won't have any cakes. It's got to open them all up. So I'll leave some of them. In the packet. Sorry. I was seeing if you wanted help opening them up. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nearly done. Mm. And then we want, these are about, how much is that? Four kilos of molasses, right? We want two kilos of molasses, more or less. So. Where did you get the molasses from? Stock, stock feeding. Yeah, local stock feeding place. This is what I call diluted molasses. This is already, they're cheating you already. They put in water in it. <laughs> this is not the real molasses stuff. You can see it's very liquid. You can see how liquid it is. So this is not... A stock feed nice. Yeah. You get the black strap molasses from the milk. You can get it in 44 gallon drums and uh, how much is it, a 44? It's about 120 bucks or something. So yeah, it goes a fair way when you've got a 44. <coughs> 
can use honey Oh, you can, but what a crazy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much it will cost you? We use melazas in Mexico because melazas in Mexico, will, they'll cost you 30 cents a kilo. 30 cents. I mean, this is not much money, right? You could use sugar, and that's why sugar is here. You, if you have no melazas, you can also use sugar. Or you can use fruit with high content in sugar also, no problem. You need some some form of uh, fructosa, lactosa, su any sugar, energy. What we want is energy. This is like making a party. So <laughs> this is the energy of the party, no? Like the beer. No beer? Oh. <laughs> The I just found out that uh, Darren's latest Leatherman is really sharp. <laughs> I just put it oh, right, I went, ouch. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, melazas, melazas are uh, antiseptic, so the moment yeah. you put it in, oh, it's good. No, it's, <laughs> it's coated. Yeah. <laughs> so in Europe, I don't know where the molasses comes from. It may well just come from oh, sugar cane, but it yeah, yeah, also used to come from sugar beet production yeah, and all of yeah, that as well. So, yeah. so, you know, in the future, if molasses, you know, with oil and la 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 la, if things start mm, to get a bit tight, then you'll still have you'll still have um, molasses from it's good sugar beet. Thing, yeah. right. How the melasses? Um, did you know? I like when you start putting the melasses in the factory in Austria. We import from Brazil and from Australia shiploads of sugar cane molasses. Oh, wow. Okay. So the question was, how is molasses made? How is molasses made? You might describe that best. It's just an offcut from the production of sugar. It's 49 percent sugar, in fact. Yeah. So when they when they cut the sugar cane, they take it there, they refine it by crush it, crushing it, it, crush it, boil it, boil it, and, and reduce bits, it. The dirty bits are molasses. So all the mineral, all of all the, the goodness out all of the sugar good. is in the molasses. <laughs> yeah. All the sugar. We feed it to the, the, the wheat bit. <laughs> we feed it to the stock and we eat the shit. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So the the, better, the the whiter the sugar is, <laughs> yeah. the worse it is. Molasses is like the Vegemite of the state. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's great stuff. I love it. That animal, it says it's for animal consumption. I don't know where, where they, what they mean by that. I consider myself an animal, so I just <laughs> still eat it out of a 44. <laughs> now, we had a... It's great on porridge. Oh, yeah, we had an porridge. interesting experience at, uh, at Ben's place. It was so cold, so cold, that... If we, if we would have made the biofertilizer, it wouldn't have worked because water was frozen, nearly frozen. So it would have never started. So what we didn't have to do there was boil the water to, <laughs> to make biofertilizer, bring it up to 30 degrees, and then when you it will cool down, put it in the shed and cover it with blankets because it was so cold, it wouldn't have worked. So make sure your water is more or less 20, 25, whatever. This is a nice temperature here, should, you should have no problem. It doesn't matter, after it's made, it'll make its own energy. But before, it won't start. So once you have the goodies for the bacteria, this is the beer, this is the music, this is the girls, this is the whole party set <laughs> for the bacteria to go happy. Yeah. So you spray the love on them, now they, they can start. breathe, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 the Crump off. Get straight to a beast. I won't go that far. Adding a lot of life to them, yeah? Because then we have amino acids, we have vitamins, we have enzymes, which will, when we spray them, ma make the plant look healthier. And actually will make the plant healthier. It will. It will protect the plant leaves from toxins and from all things. And we will enable the plant to produce phytoalexins again. Yeah? So this is to make minerals soluble. Yeah? So that's pretty much how it looks. Do we have everything? We have the milk, we have the yeast, we have, I mean, we have the rainbow, the rainbow now. We have the sugar, we have the minerals. So the party is ready to go, that simple. So all we want now is to get up with water. Just <coughs> some pressure.
Is that it, mate? <laughs> <laughs>